one of my, my favorite expressions kicking around at the moment is, you know, bring your whole self to work. And the truth is we already do that. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of that, that self sits in our subconscious is affected by what's happened in the past. And it's really hard to unlock yourself and move into that next level of productivity, performance, and success until you've dealt with that. And you're really in a, mm -hmm. in a situation to, to forge healthy relationships in your work and, and personal life. And so I've, I've kept that coaching designation. I'm just, I feel yeah. like it's the responsible thing to do, but I absolutely bring therapeutic uh, training and practices into, into the methods that we use. There's something called the gold medal syndrome that we see in athletes. And so oh, what, could I have one of those? Right, right. <laughs> but it, it, yeah, I could totally relate. It's, it's really gold it's, medal so, syndrome. Love it. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting because you, you peg your whole life's purpose around this one goal. And then when you achieve it, it's really anticlimactic because it didn't do or fix any of the things that you expected it to fix. So it's sort of like this congratulations, here's your existential crisis moment. And this happens a lot with founders because you you put your your business is your baby and you you've given your whole life over to it. You've oftentimes sacrificed personal relationships, your mental and physical health to get to where you want to go. And there's no amount of money in the world that may it that like makes that okay. And you, and you have no idea where you're going to go next. People do what you do, not what you say. So if you're showing up in a really self-aware manner every day and you're handling problems with grace and you're establishing healthy boundaries and having open dialogue around your boundaries and taking accountability for when you make an away move, then that starts to become the way people engage with you. And then yeah. they'll like the way that feels. And then they'll go engage with others that way. Um, so I, th I do think that you can have a, an extended influence on the health of all relationships. It is powerful as a toxic person in a, in a, in a team or a corporate culture can be. You know, that, that same thing is true for leading by positive example. So you, you can counterbalance that in your own behavior, which I just, that, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Like if I can arm people with the tools that they need, so like, to lead the way, I am all in. <laughs> yeah.